Then we get into section C, which is codes and standards. Now, NEC touches every aspect of power systems engineering. It can show up later on in the specification. It can show up even earlier when we're talking about grounding. So it's all over the place. So in that sense, when you're looking at NEC or NFE 70E or code and standards in general, right? Um, they are not just 10 to 15 questions. They can be up to 20 questions because any C question can be asked in the context of a motor and becomes a motor problem. It can be asked in the context of a transformer, it becomes a transformer problem. It can be asked in the context of voltage drop, it becomes a voltage drop problem, right? So we really need to get a good handle on NEC. And the way I do it in the on-demand course, I have like four, seven big sections on NEC and then uh, multiple practice problems throughout the live training, we circle back to NEC several times. And if I had hundred hours, right, to spend on code, okay, let's keep it 10 hours, okay? I don't wanna scare you guys. It's not hundred hours of level of effort for 10 questions but let's say it's 10 hours, okay? I would spend seven hours on NEC, probably one hour on NESC, or actually make it six, make it six hours here, one hour on NESC, uh, maybe uh, two hours over here and one hour over here, right? So that's sort of a 60, 10, 20, 10 sort of a split. So the lion's share is NEC followed by NFP 70E and then NESC and uh, hazardous area classification are a little bit on the easier side of things, okay? Or less important if I can call them. In fact, NEC already covers article uh, 500.